good morning children how are you children i hope you all are fine already we have discussed the first poem all things bright and beautiful i hope you all understood the poem today we are going to start the new lesson second lesson the art to live happily let's start the lesson okay a long long ago there lived a rich and powerful king in india he had a beautiful palace and a beautiful garden he was a great king but sometimes he used to become sad see long long ago there was a king in india he was how, what kind of king he was he was a powerful king and rich he had a beautiful palace what do you mean by a palace see children a large house that is the home of a king or queen the place the palace where queen or king lives and he has a beautiful palace in that palace he has a beautiful garden he was a great king he was a great king but uh, one uh, drawback is there in that king what is that but sometimes he used to be sad he used to be dull one day as the king was looking out of his window his chief minister came and asked him what is the matter what is that is worrying you your majesty see one day the king was looking out from his window and uh, chief minister observed that chief minister went to the king and he asked he questioned what is the problem with you what is the matter i want to know and uh, if possible i can solve he asked in the respectable manner that is your majesty the king turned around but he did not say anything the king he faced towards the window just he turned around he changed his direction but he did not answer the question whatever is asked by the minister your majesty you must not worry so much about life it is better for a king to remain cheerful in every situation said the minister see what is the advice given by the minister to the king he said in a respectable manner your majesty you must not worry so much about life you must not worry why because see if you worry if you have a small problem it will be uh, seen as a big problem if you are worried about a problem so he gave suggestion and it is better and he is also that minister is also telling that to be cheerful all the time relieves or gives you relaxation he suggested to the king the king got angry at his words and said it is easy to say such things if you were in my place you would do the same thing see when uh, the minister advised the king he asked further then the king got angry and he said it is easy to say words but when you are in my position then you get see how hard is that words okay the minister did not say anything and quietly went out of the king's room see king is in a higher position uh, and uh, if he says a word in anger uh, can we question him or oppose his words no in the same way minister did not say anything he did not spell anything he did not utter a single word and he went out from his room king's room but the king was not satisfied with what he had said the king was not satisfied to the words said by minister and he answered and he was not satisfied and he wanted to see if the minister could do what he said and he want to know the words said by the minister are true or not and he wants to give a chance that whether the words said by the minister are true or not or he can do that or not 
One day he called the chief minister to his room and said, See, he thought for a day and the next day or the day after day, he called the minister and he said, What did he say? What did he say? We shall see. I am asking you to do a job for me. See, king asks the minister that he is giving a job and uh, he has to do that job. What is that job? Then he took out a big diamond from the dryer and put it in the minister's hand. Keep it safely for me until I ask for it again, said the king. See, what is the job given for the minister? Just uh, he took out uh, a precious diamond and given to the minister and he asked to put it safe until king asked the minister. The minister agreed and went away with the diamond. See, if any job given by the higher authorities, we have to accept and follow them. In the same way, the minister agreed whatever the king said and he took the diamond and he went away from that place. The minister reached home, called his wife and explained everything to her. See, after that, from that uh, palace, minister reached to his home. He called his wife and he explained everything that has happened in the palace. And uh, he asked his wife to keep the diamond safely. What is the work given to the wife, minister's wife? He has asked his wife to keep the diamond in a safe position, in a safe place. She opened the cash box, put the diamond in, a, in one corner, closed it and put the cash box inside her box. See, valuables are put in one box in uh, previous days, in olden days. Now we are having uh, cash counters or uh, lockers like that. They placed in a box. In that box, all the valuables are put in that and locked that. In the same way, minister's wife opened the cash box and put the diamond in that and the, she put that box in the other box safely. The king had sent some people to follow the minister all the way to his house. See how cruel he is. The king sent some people to follow the minister on his way to home to find out where he would keep the diamond and he also given job to that followers to some people to check whether where he kept the diamond. After a few days he sent someone to steal the diamond from his house. He waited for some days. After a few days what the king has done See, he sent the same person whom he sent before. He sent a person and uh, they already knew the place where they preserved or kept the diamond safely. And he sent a person to steal the diamond from his, from the uh, minister's house. When the king got the diamond, he threw it into the river. Whatever the followers sent to the minister's house, he went secretly and he stole the diamond and he get back and given to the king. And when the king got the diamond into his hands, what did he do children? He just threw into the river. After a few days, he called the minister and asked for the diamond. After a few days and again he called the minister and he asked the minister to get the diamond whatever he has given few days back. He asked him to get back the diamond. The minister told his wife to give the diamond. See, he, the minister went back to his wife and he called his wife and told her to give the diamond. Whatever the diamond I have given to you to uh, keep, keep in a safe place, please return it back. He asked his wife to return back or give back the diamond. She directly opened the cash box but the diamond was not found in the cash box. See, 
she opened the cash box wherever she placed the diamond and she could not find the diamond in the cash box nobody in the house knew where the diamond was see the children uh, her husband or wife of minister they don't know where they lost that uh, diamond the place where she kept she searched all the house but all the house members family members they don't know where they lost this diamond the minister returned to the palace with a sad heart with a dull heart dully he went returned back to the palace he stood in front of the king and said your majesty i could not find a diamond in my house see he went dully with dull face dull heart sad heart to the palace and he said to the king your majesty in a respectable words your majesty i could not find a diamond in my house i am very sad to say to you that i could not find a diamond whatever the diamond you have given to keep in a safe position i lost that i cannot find in my house someone has stolen the diamond he also said that someone has stolen the diamond please give me one week time to find the diamond he requested the king to give him one week time seven days time to give him so that he can find the lost diamond did the king give that time we shall see the king said you have only 3 days to find it then what did the king responded no 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 i cannot give you one week time i can give you only 3 days of time within this 3 days of time you have to search the diamond and get it back if you fail to bring the diamond within 3 days you will be killed along with your wife and children see how cruel he is see minister asked for one week time but he refused he did not give one week time and he gave only 3 days of time within this 3 days if he fail to get back the diamond what he will do he will be killed along with his wife and children whole family members will be killed by the king see children we shall see whether the minister will get back the diamond within this 3 days or not if he did not get back the diamond what will the king do we shall see in the next class okay read this till now